Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. I hope all of you are doing absolutely fantastic. Um, so today I am playing a game called Call of the Sea. From what I've read, it's a very interactive puzzle type of game. All I know is that I am searching for my missing husband. Uh, so I got this game on Epic Games not too long ago and it looks really good. Um, so the kind of description that Epic Games gave of this game is... It says, Call of the Sea is an overworldly tale of mystery and love set in the 1930s South Pacific. Explore a lush island paradise, solve puzzles, and unlock secrets in a hunt for your husband's missing expedition. I don't know about y'all, but I absolutely love puzzle games, so I'm very, very excited to try this out. Let's get into it. What are those voices? Prologue, a family heirloom. Oh yes, photosensitivity warning by the way, it did pop up when I started the game, so be wary of that. I did Where am I? turn on the flashing lights accessibility option, I turned it off, so shouldn't be too bad, but in case that's your warning. Where am I? I know this place. I've been here before. Have you? Cause I'm... This is trippy. I can't go up. I can only swim forward. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. Is this like an old house, perhaps? I don't know. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. But I am tripping, bro. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. Okay. Alright, chillax. This is not a horror game, right? My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. Hmm. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. All right. Time to gather my things. I'm definitely going to miss this bed. Falling asleep to the ship's rocking was delightful. I missed the sea so much when we moved to Denver. It's a pretty interactive game. I absolutely love games where you can interact with basically everything. It's so fun. It makes my monkey brain so happy to click things. <laughs> Diary, 1934. Ah, the amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. Well, I'm going to read a little bit of this. Feel free to skip ahead because it's going to be a lot of reading, okay? July 6, 1934. It's been a month since I received Harry's last letter. It was postmarked postmark San Francisco and mentioned that the answer to my illness might be found in the Pacific Ocean. I'm hoping his silence is only due to a delay in postal service. July 4th. 
Last night I had another one of my vivid dreams, but this time something was different. I saw a strange island looming in the distance. In the heart of the island, a huge stone obelisk nose up before a mist shroud island, shrouded island. I woke up drenched in sweat. September 16th. I keep walking up to the I keep waking up to the odd dreams in the middle of the night. Still no news from Harry, and it's been 3 months already. Damn this disease of mine. My husband is missing and I can barely walk for a couple of minutes without getting exhausted. October 10th. And enigmatic sentence written um on a photo of my husband an ancient stone relic that looks like a knife a brass key with the letter cw engraved on it all three of these were in a package i received yesterday postmarked tahiti no sender quote find him 74 nautical Miles east of, uh, Odahit? I'm assuming that's how you say that, Odahit? Uh, after leafing through a couple of history and geography books, I found that Ohit was just the ancient name of Tahiti, the same place the package came from. What does this all mean? Anyway, my mind is made up. Even though I still feel woozy, I have to go to everything I've got. It won't be easy, but I'll find my husband whatever it takes, even if it means going to the end of the world. October 14th, 1934. Same year. Following Harry's trail, I caught a train to San Francisco. In the Madison building, I found out that on May 25th, Harry bought six passages to Tahiti on the SS Carnal. Tahiti again. On a side note, I'm not sure if it's the fresh air or the sea breeze, but I feel much better. October 19th, five days after. Uh, first, I'll sail to Tahiti on an ocean liner. If I don't find Harry there, I'll have to find a ship that will take me to whatever is 74 nautical miles east of Tahiti. This isn't going to be easy or cheap either. October 23rd. I miss the sea so much after Harry and I moved to Denver. I love to sit on the deck and watch the moonlight playing on the water. It's so comforting. It really does sound comforting. I've never, I've never, I've been to the beach once in my life, but that was the only time I've ever seen like really big open water. It's the only time. It was really peaceful though. November 1st, 1934. I finally arrived in Tahiti. Finding information about Harry's expedition is turning out to be tough, not er, a tough road to hoe. I think I must have walked all over Papete asking about them, but nobody seems to know anything. About that place, 74 miles east of Tahiti, some locals have mentioned an island, but they won't say anything else about it. It's like they think the place is cursed. I met an English sailor, Captain Hodgson. He knew some of the crew members on the Lady Shannon, a whaler. Apparently, the ship took an American expedition to an island east of Tahiti. According to Hodgson, it's been months since he last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Like every good sailor, the captain is superstitious. Do you think I'm mad? I'm not going to risk the lives of my crew by going to that cursed island, he said. November 4th. After three days of begging, I managed to convince Captain Hodgson to take me close to the island. Save your money, Miss Everett. Leave me alone with, uh, leaving me alone would be payment enough. I think there's a sweet, tender heart inside of that grumpy old sailor. Oh, and this, 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 uh, must be the crew. So this is probably the captain. Um, I might be the one, probably. And then the rest is the, the crew. Sweet. Uh, oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my Ooh. journal with me to write things down. Gameplay hands. Journal. Um. Oh, Everhart. Not Everett. My bad. Everhart. So, 
I am Nora Everhart, and my husband is Harry. Okay. Um, 506. 506, I'm assuming. Uh, 506. Oh, Fantastic. All right, now it's open. Oh, is this my husband? Harry <gasps> Everhart. Ooh. My husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. Some elements have hidden information. Rotate to find it. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. Oh yeah, this is what I just read in the, the lock. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. This was in the loading screen, wasn't it? Very certain it was. Fairly certain it was. Okay. I keep doing that, my bad. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. Whoa. I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Nora Everhart. A PD to Hebe. That's a very cool thing to say. Papiti Tahiti, if I'm saying that right, because that's that just sounds so cool. I keep hitting escape. I'm so sorry. Have it. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. Aw, no, you're fine. You're beautiful. Alright. We're all set, madam. Your motor boat is ready. Okay, one moment. I'm exploring. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. No. Oh. We're gonna find our husband. Don't you worry. Hopefully not dead or anything, but... What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? I don't know about y'all, but I can't stand dresses. Like, it... They just, they, they don't fit my fashion, which absolutely is fine, but like, I can't, I can't. It has to be pants and like a shirt. I can't, I can't wear a dress. I can't wear a skirt. I, I can hate that. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Overpacked? No. Nah, is that it? Is that everything? Okay. I think that's it. Let's go. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're on your own. Family heirloom. Thank you. Epic Games for the achievement. Lower the motorboat and be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband. Me too. I hope it too. Hey! I'll see you in three days then. Now read your mind. And please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Whoa. Chapter 1, 74 miles east of... Uh... Otahe. Well, Otahe? I, am. <laughs> I forget what I said. Ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. Otahiri! That's what I said. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refused to even name. Everything is familiar. So familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? It looks really familiar. This, this can't be a coincidence. That's cool. It's a very pretty game. It's so bright.
I wonder. A breathtaking, idyllic island surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Maybe the island is cursed. Maybe Captain Hudson is right. There's definitely something strange about this place. There's a tent there. There's totally people here. Okay, Harry. Let's see if I can find any trace of you around here. Very, very, very pretty game. It's so bright and peaceful. It's gonna take a turn for the worst. I already know it. Like, look at these spikes on this beautiful island. People don't. People don't want me here. All right. Let's 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 see tire tracks. A tent. So somebody was on this island recently. That's what I said. Well, that's a vivo, a flute that the Polynesians play with their nose. I won't be playing that. A vivo. I've never heard of a vivo. A miniature vaa, a Polynesian outrigger canoe, beautifully crafted too. Is this a letter? A note written in French. I only understand two words: "il" and "mort." Island and death. Oh, good, great. That's fantastic. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. <laughs> yeah, thank you, game. Thank you for telling me how to sprint. I love that little hint that the game gives you. Hello? Ooh. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. Okay. I always have a worry of when games make you backtrack to something because it always makes me feel like something is going to change. And it's just like something's gonna jump scare me. And you know, I just I just don't don't I don't think that, okay? What does that say? Oh, I can't jump. Oh. Can't zoom in either. Let's go over here. Is that a Is that a dinosaur skull? Nope, those are weapons. Those are just weapons. <laughs> Not a dinosaur. It kind of looks like a dinosaur. Like a dinosaur mouth. Looks like it opens from the other side. Alright. Oh, uh, the way it is. I'm forever going to call these dinosaur heads now. Just because I cannot unsee the dinosaur head. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. It really does look peaceful. What a lovely flower offering. I have a feeling like this is going to take a really dark turn any second. Like, I'm going to be super curious. And get myself trapped or something. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass. Box. Let's go. It. So whoever sent me this key was here. Let's see. It's a puzzle. My first puzzle. Let's go. Um. So the flower rock. Uh. Okay. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. Can we take that with me? I think that would be the best choice, no? Alright, I'm assuming this is this is a rock. And these are the two flowers that I just saw. Right. 
Maybe? Yeah. Two flowers. Rock? A. Well, look what's hidden here. What is this? Key. Um, some sort, probably. <gasps> There's more to the journal! Um... Alright, let's read a little bit. Um, it's just one entry, no problem. Okay, so this is two days after, um, we managed to get to the island. Yeah. Two days after, so November 6th. Um, it says, I arrived on the mysterious island 72 miles east of Tahiti. The fishermen will be back to pick me up again in three days. I hope that's enough time to find you, dear old pal. That's strange. Polynesians don't use doors, much less mechanisms to protect a door. If I want to reach the inner island, I've got to open it. Nora, dear, this is no ordinary island. I needed the key I received in the mysterious package to, to enter the island. What does this mean? From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Oh. Okay. Um. Well, that did something. It works. I might actually be a genius, you know. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. It's so pretty! God, I love nature. Alright. Candles here. Is that whiskey? Whoa. Harry? Harry, you were here. You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? I wanted to see that. The Everhart Expedition. Uh, it says Harry was on this island and I hope he's still here. I found a photo with the expedition members and I think I vaguely recognize them. Um, from the letters he sent me. But where did they all go? Did they set up camp somewhere? Well, we're about to find out. Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Lady Shannon? Yeah. They took the ship here. Six people, fragile instruments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lady Shannon was the... ship. Uh, yeah. So according to Hutchin, it's been months since you last saw the Lady Shannon or its crew. Yeah, they came here and haven't been back. So they came to this island too, but never returned. Okay. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. Maybe they're developing tradition? I don't know. It's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. Right? It's so nice! Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. Um... <laughs> Oh, three triangles, sunshine. Okay. Another log. I found the missing piece to open the door, opening the entrance to a mangrove swamp to the inner island. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I went around it somehow. Okay. Um, it opened the entrance to a mangrove swamp to the inner island. I'm cut off from the heart of the island by a strange mechanical bridge over a river. Someone went to a lot of trouble to keep people away from this place. 
Maybe, maybe it is cursed. Like, I'm telling you. I'm not superstitious or anything, but... If people really are going through all this trouble and hassle to keep people away, kind of get the hint. Crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. No. Well, we'll find Harry. We will. What is that? What is that snowball? This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. What does it mean? Oh, fish. D duh. What? A bone fish. They just said. All right. Um, kind of think that's the way forward. So let's go up here. Oh wait, wait. is this the way that we just? Yeah. Okay. Onward! Let's see. These vines. Oh my, look at that! Oh! I could totally be like a desktop background. It's so good! Oh my, this is so beautiful! That's what I've been saying! What were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Lorikeets. Is this means birds, perhaps? These are just a bunch of symbols. Hi! It's so cute! Oh wait, yeah, this is the gate. That was, uh... To the to the boat. A shortcut. That's convenient. I know. Thank you, game. I'm probably gonna need it in the future, so thank you. Maybe I need to go back. Oh wait, wait, wait. What is this? Some some ad ad tur. Something? This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. I didn't even see that achievement. It kind of jump scared me. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Um. Moving on. See, it's making me backtrack again, making me feel like there's changes that are happening. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. That's cool. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. Um. Okay. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. Communication. Honesty. Do I just... I'm backtracking more. Let's see. Oh yeah! The bridge! Totally forgot about the bridge. Um... Wait, yeah. There's water symbols. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. Is there a specific order? What if I just turn them all to water? Is this the sunbird, uh, mountain water fish? Sunbird, mountain water fish? But I don't know mountain. Let's just try it. 
Sunbird. Maybe that. Uh, mountain. Water. And fish. Um. Well, I guess I hit the jackpot. Sunbird. That's my ticket across the river then. Hm. Maybe I missed one back there. Maybe I should get it. Because knowing my small brain, I'm gonna forget. Hold on, let me get it. I made it back. Um, so yeah, the two symbols that I missed, it was right down the path, and I just totally missed it. It was the mountain one and then the bird one I got, so fantastic. Yeah, these two. Whoa. Look at that gloom light effect. Normally I hate bloom or glooms on any type of game. But this one, it just, it kind of makes it feel more alive. And I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going to stop gushing the graphics because it's probably annoying. But it looks so good. Alright. <laughs> oh, darkness. Okay. How long have I been walking? I've lost track of the time. We are going to call it here. Um, let me know what you think. I think it's pretty fun. Um, a lot of exploration, a lot of interaction. As I said, graphics are beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm excited to, to continue playing, so let me know what you think.